Hi, my name is Amin and I'm one of the MYP science teachers and also the DFA physics teacher at ISNS. This is my fifth year at ISNS. In MYP, physics is one of the three sciences covered in grades 9 and 10. The students rotate between physics, biology and chemistry in these grades. One of the reasons we do this is to allow the subject specialists to deliver the specific science they are experts in. And MYP Physics at ISNS aims to enable students to independently and collaboratively investigate issues through research, observation and experimentation. Students are encouraged to develop scientific inquiry in MYP Physics. This means that students will have plenty of opportunities to hone their critical and creative thinking skills as they ask questions about the world around them. There are four main overarching objectives in MYP Science, which goes from six all the way to 10. Objective A is knowledge and understanding. A successful physics student is one that can explain and apply physics knowledge. They would have the understanding to solve problems set in both familiar and unfamiliar situations. Additionally, students will be able to analyze and evaluate information to make scientifically supported judgments. Objective B is inquiring and designing. As mentioned earlier, inquiry is central to the IB framework. For physics, this means that students have the chance to lead their own inquiry processes by designing investigations to answer teacher-led or student-owned questions. Thirdly, Objective C is processing and evaluating. For this objective, students will collect, process, and interpret qualitative and or quantitative data and explain conclusions that have been appropriately reached. Finally, Objective D is reflecting on the impacts of science. As responsible global citizens, we want our students to think about the effects of scientific developments on issues that are happening around the world. And then, DP Physics at ISNS builds upon the knowledge and skills that have been intentionally and methodically introduced in the MYP science and also the MYP mathematics programs from grade 6 to 10. So students are not thrown into the deep end of the pool when they move from MYP science to DP Physics. DP Physics itself is divided into standard and higher levels. There is this misconception that students at the higher level study physics in greater depth. The truth is, however, HL Physics students cover an additional four topics and an extended option topics in relation to their SL peers. The physics curriculum at ISNS is designed to support the progressive and inquiry-based framework of the IB. What this means is that physics at ISNS is not just about the recollection of facts and symbol shuffling. It is a learner-centered curriculum that enables our students to develop their physics knowledge, attitude, and skills. We adopt a spiral approach to the teaching of science. What this means is that students are constantly building upon their existing schemata and adding to their body of knowledge. The use of these resources supports the inquiry-based approach to learning physics at ISNS. Students get to be involved in hands-on, minds-on learning activities. At the same time, students get to develop their 21st century skills as these senses are actually digital in nature. One of the more commonly used inquiry that we have at ISNS is actually structured inquiry. The teacher will actually ask guiding questions that would lead students to the intended outcomes. Essentially, for MYP science and DP physics, what we have is that we have plenty of opportunities for students to be involved in investigation. The grade nines are actually learning about the effect of forces. So during the investigation, what they've done is that they've actually designed paper airplanes and they actually try to investigate different variables that would actually affect the flight of the paper airplane. So through this activity, students get a chance to lead their own inquiry process. From grade 6 to 10, as mentioned earlier, we actually adopt a spiral approach. So what a spiral approach means is that you actually start with something simple and as you go through the grades, what happens is that you do it at increasing level of complexity. So students build upon 
previous knowledge rather than just teaching them as discrete bodies of information they actually have a pre-existing schema to actually build upon for science there are three concepts that we are actually interested in which is change relationship and systems so these three concepts would actually tie all the various topics that we cover in MYP physics as well as MYP science. An example would actually be the concept of energy. Like in physics, we learn about the movement of an object. We learn about gravitational potential energy and we learn about kinetic energy. But that concept can also be applied in biology when we talk about food chain. And then when we move on to chemistry, we actually have the various types of reactions. You have endothermic, exothermic reactions, which talks about energy changes as well. So this is what we mean by conceptual understanding. Students are actually able to transfer their knowledge from one domain to another domain. If you just take the time to look around you, you will actually have the opportunity to ask yourself so many different physics questions. And that is how you actually develop the love for physics and also help you uh, answer your own questions. By being an inquirer, you will actually be able to find out how the world around you works.